Welcome to our World of Fiery videos, covering topics of everyday importance to print providers. Today we will cover, why does every paper stock need its own profile? So first of all, well, what, what is media-defined profiling? We talked about profiling being the ability to be accurate, not just consistent, but consistent and accurate. So let's assume for a second that we want to actually exemplify what we're trying to do here. Typically speaking, when you're doing a media-defined profile, by its very nature, you're looking at the characteristics of the paper stock that you're printing on, and you're trying to improve the quality of matching a particular color or series of colors on that particular paper. That's important to know is because even though you have color profiles, what people may not recommend or may not uh, realize is that you can actually apply a specific color profile to a paper stock. So every job may have its own particular color paper profile. So why do it? Well, let's take a look at this visual example. This is a printed example that used a number of different stocks, and it's asking the question, which paper stock is printed using the same ink? Now, it could be toner as well, by the way, because what I'm about to show you is a very common issue with regard to printing on various paper stocks, and that is that paper stocks themselves carry a number of different color characteristics, and even if you printed the exact same ink in toner, ink or toner on the paper, you're going to get a different visual example and it's by profiling that allows you to really leverage and get the most accurate version of that particular toner or ink on the paper. So let's go to the Media Defined Profile demo real quick. And we go back to Command Workstation. We're going to click on Device Center. To do that, we go to the third tab over. So there's General, Color Setup, and then we go to Resources. And we go to Resources. The first tab that's highlighted is Paper Catalog. That's where we're going to spend our time here for the next minute or two. And then under Paper Catalog, I've got a sterling, in trade run, a sterling digital paper stock. And you'll notice it says um, the tabs at the top, name, media, pre-punch, paper type, media weight, document size, back color profile, front color profile. That's where we're going to try to affect that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Edit. And when you do that, you'll get this little warning saying it's being used in a tray um, only the product ID, front color profile, and back color profile can be modified. You're okay with that? Click OK. And this is the window that most people don't know exists or aren't using it, even if they have color profiles, and that is that every paper stock that you're printing on has the ability, if you look down at the bottom, to associate a color profile to that paper stock. So if I've gone through and got a very, in this case maybe a glossy paper stock, and I want to know the specific effects of color on that glossy paper stock, I can profile that paper stock and then create a unique, in this case, if I'm that up, you'll see there's a sterling premium digital enhanced text output profile, optimized profile, for that paper stock. And I select that. And now when I hit OK, I have applied, essentially, a custom output profile or custom profile for that paper stock that is now going to give me the most accurate color on that particular paper. It's essentially your media-defined profiling workflow. It's very simple. You only have to do it once after you've created your profiles. And you've now elevated your ability to get your color from great to fabulous because now you've got the most accurate and consistent color applied to that particular workflow. Thank you for watching. For additional resources and e-learning classes on this topic, visit our website. To see all recorded sessions and register for upcoming World of Fiery webinars, please visit efi.com forward slash WOF webinars.